gonna come in right here. Listen to that. Hey. It sounds nice and big. So, how to make better Afro House music in 2024? That's what we're gonna be covering today. If you literally ask me right now how to make better Afro House music this year, this is gonna be my response to that. And I'm gonna go through everything that you find helpful that will help you make the most amazing Afro House music that you can make, especially right now. But the first thing I wanna get into is you have to study what's popular right now, right? So you have to look at like, uh, for, for example, Beatport top 10. You can go to top 100 if you want to like even uh, listen to more tracks and check out more tracks that are in the style of Afro House right now because Afro House is in a different place right now in terms of internationally so you want to keep up with those trends and see what kind of sound is popular right now so you have to look at uh, like the, the the broad look of you know this genre worldwide instead of just looking at it from just one place so let's check out uh, beatport top 10 you can tell there's a lot of uh, artists and there's a lot of collaborations happening so you want to listen to all of these songs especially in the top 10 you need to listen to all of them like just check all of them out and see what kind of uh, similar styles and similar things and elements are they using when it comes to the production of all these tracks you know never mind who's making them it's just about listening to uh, the music and studying uh, what kind of sounds are, are, are used in this so that you can have an idea of what you should make and what you should aim for and then when you get there you know you have the right sound so that's the first thing right and now we're going to move on to some proper production stuff that we can get into so i have a track here that i have that i made uh, i teased it in my previous video so this is the track that i'm going to be using for this example because this is in the style of this modern 2024 afro house that's uh, popular right now right so the first thing that i see a technique that is used in most of these popular songs is you need to have some piano in it you need to have a really nice piano in it so right here i'm using the studio grand it is a stock piano in logic pro i spoke about it before in another video but this is a really good piano here so one technique that i see that they normally use is that you want to create a really good chord progression so for me i have a chord progression that's right here let me play it back for you this is my chord progression So it just holds that note, uh, the, those chords for two bars. So your chord progression depends with you, like how you want it to go. So you can see here, it starts off with this uh, first chord here. So what I do is, instead of just uh, starting the track off with the whole chord progression, I don't want to play the whole chord progression. I want to start off just by uh, taking the first chord, which is just the first chord that I showed you that, that is just right here. So what I do is I just cut it out, like as you can see right here, as you can see right here, I just cut it out because if I extend all of this, you can start to see that the full chord is there. So if I can undo that, you can see that the full chord progression is right there. But I just want to adjust this so that when it plays around uh, this section here, it plays like this. It just plays that chord and then doesn't come back. So now in the track, it sounds like this. So around this part where it's supposed to come back, it doesn't come back. But now notice that the bass is continuing with that uh, same rhythm and uh, you know the same pattern and going up like this. But the next chord is not playing yet. So as you can see right here, it's starting off with these uh, with just these chords alone without uh, playing the full progression. And then later on, then it kicks into the full progression that you can see uh, right here. And then again right here by the break part, uh, just before the drop, it is also just repeating the same chord and not the full chord. So that's one technique here and then uh building off the piano here you can also check out the layer that i added here so if i just uh, play the piano on its own it sounds like this again that's just how it sounds but now listen to how it sounds with the pad That sounds much better so adding this atmospheric a uh, layer of a pad just makes it sound much much better right so that's something you want to do i usually use uh, some uh, drone sounds like droning uh, pads and things like that but i'd rather just use a pad like this so this pad here is in retro synth uh, right here so it's the classic analog pad in case you might be looking for it and then with the bass it sounds like this
Sounds beautiful, right? And then after you've built up your uh, your your keys and uh, la- layered some pads underneath just to get that atmospheric feel and you've got your bass, the next thing you're going to need is some nice melodic elements, right? So for me right here, my melodic elements, I used uh, three of them. I layered three of them and because I see that's what a lot of uh, these tracks have. They, they have the same melody in terms of the pattern itself, but then the way the melody moves and changes uh, with different sounds is really exciting. And I love that because there's a lot of motion there. You don't need to have too many any melodies and countering one another and things like that you don't have to use that technique so my original melody was uh, this smooth plug here So that's what it's just playing, right? It's just going bam, 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 bam. So that's just the, the melody that I have here. So it's a simple melody. And if you're wondering what kind of uh, sound that is, it is the smooth anthem plug that is in Alchemy. So then I added another layer uh, playing the same notes, which is this big wave lead also again in Alchemy right here. So then if I layer them together. So this is without the big wave lead. And then with, you hear that. That sounds great. And then a third one again, which is the arena sidechain lead again in Alchemy. And as you could, you could hear, it's actually opening up itself. So now I have to go and check and just show you uh, the automations here. So I'm also automating the sounds themselves because you see they're building up. So here's the automations. You can see that it's opening up like this and you can tell that it's opening up the filter cut off, which is uh, right here. So you have a filter here and a filter there and a filter there. So I'm just uh, opening up the filters right there because Alchemy does have a filter. So you can open uh, this up just to see where's the filter, which is uh, just right here by the cutoff. If you look at the bottom of this plugin or you can can just uh, open the transform here and just make sure that you have a little bit more space like right here and then you just can see the control here and then you can just automate that so that you have a, a like a, a melody that moves that changes over time so if you, if you can see in my arrangement here you can see we we'll start with the first uh, simple melody that I showed you right here which is this one here that's the one that starts and then after that we come to the big wave lead and then after that we go in we also add the arena sidechain so as the track is moving the melody is getting more hype and more hype and more hype and adding more energy plus the automation it goes crazy like it just goes crazy that's why the energy is building up and then it's dropping back down and you control the dynamics by doing this and then after all of this, you know, what you want to do is make sure that, you know, you use the right sounds that add that because it's Afro house that add that African vibe and that African feel to it. So with this track, I did it well with two things. The first thing that I used here was I used this kalimba sound, right? So this kalimba sound is playing a melody, which is right here. So just playing that, uh, repeating that uh, melody sound right here, right? So what I did here is I just added a delay to this last note that's right here. If I bring the, let's bring back some drums. Let's bring the kick in and the synth plug in so that you can hear what is happening right here with this one note. It's just one note. You can hear that this note is kind of late because if I put it on time, like right here, It sounds great, but I just wanted to, you know, uh, try something different and just delay it a little bit so that the melody is unique. It's not just on grid the whole time. So it sounds like a hesitation right there. I like that. I think it's really cool. But again, it is an African sound. So it's, an, it's, it's a kalimba sound. So using sounds like these really add a, a true Afro flavor to the track, right? And then moving on now to the important thing is to have really good Afro drums that you can use. And... It so happens I, I have the best ones that I have in the link down below. If you want to check out my store, I have amazing Afro sounds that you can use that I'm also using in this track to, you know, really get the Afro sound going on. So you want to have, you know, really good toms. So if I add the tom here. So 
So I have this first tom right there, which is a really cool tom that I added right there. So if you look at the sampler, you can see it right here, right? And then after that, I added a, a layer of some toms uh, that I created. And then, you know, they just uh, started to create like a rolling vibe. So you see that's uh, it's giving uh, like really nice vibes with the toms. They're just giving like a rolling feel and then they stop a rolling feel and then they stop. And then the next thing you also want to add some drum sounds like some congas. They will really take uh, the African vibe to a whole other level. So if I add the first layer of congas. That sounds really good. And then if I add the second one. adding some really nice vibes to it and then if i move to the section here i start to add like shakers and other tom sounds and other sounds as well so i have this galactic core shaker that's right here and then i also have another tom sound here so this is a super uh high tom you can see it says here uh tom high so it's like a high pitch tom that is just playing like higher frequencies and mid-range frequencies then we also have a rim shot here just to emphasize you know some movement in the in the percussion sounds and then an acoustic tom right here so let me just show you the pattern of this tom here so this tom here i made it in the step sequencer let me just turn this off i made it in the step sequencer and on its own it sounds like this i just added a little bit of a roll at the end so that it has you know a little bit of a roll right there you know just so that it, it's not just hitting one note alone just to add that nice swing there and then it sounds great so now with the track and another thing that I see a lot of Afro House uh, tracks are using right now is a lot of stomp sounds. So I added some uh, stomp sounds around this section here. It's going to come in right here. Listen to that. Hey. It sounds nice and big. So using these uh, stomp sounds will really emphasize on you know how big you want the track to be. So it's uh, it, it works well in these kinds of break parts here. And what's nice about these is that if you make them, you can just print them into loops so that you can use them in other tracks and then you can uh, rearrange them so that you, you you can keep the sample, yes, if you want to and like that. But then if you make a loop like this, like a section like this, just print them out, just freeze them and then keep them as loops so that you can use them because with these, uh, you can use them once or twice and over and over and over again, like in the same pattern if you want to and, you know, it's, it's acceptable. And then another thing I did here was I also added a, a, a clap effect, like a clap layer that you, you heard play right there so if i mute the stomp kick did you hear that clap sound it sounds really good right so on its own it sounds like this let me just play back so that's also something that you might also want to print so here are the effects because it's just a simple clap right here so without these effects it just sounds like a dry clap like this and I added some delay right here, which is just a stock delay again. So this is the delay here. The timing is on eighth dotted right there. And the other one is just an eighth. So that sounds great for this effect, but I also wanted to add some reverb. So I added uh, a vocal hall right here in Chromoverb. Amazing stock plugin for reverb. It's great. To really let it feel like it's in a it's in a big space. So in the track, it just accents the track nicely.
so that's it i hope you found this video very interesting and very helpful so i wanted to just put together some tips that can help you make the best out for house you can make right now you know using references and the elements that i hear that are very common in all the top afro house tracks right now if you want to see more production like uh, from scratch productions on afro house i have a playlist that i can show you that is right here where you can watch all my cookups of these kind of style of afro house and even much more so anyway thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video i'm x and i'm out peace